Greetings universe, my name is Vincent. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We have tried trains, we have tried planes, it is now time to go to the maritime side of things. And we are going to flood the entire country and nowhere shall you be allowed to traverse by car. And only shall you be allowed to traverse by ship. Because, well, to be honest, I have no original ideas. But am I just reusing the same idea over and over again? Yes. And will I apologize for it? No. And before we begin, just a quick shout out to James, Charlie, Matt, and O4 is cool for your wonderful support over the past few weeks whilst I've been going through some exams. Your comments have been lovely to read, so thank you so much. Well, enough of that sappy stuff. Shall we get started? I think we shall. Hello, London. My number one victim. None of you guys exist anymore. Bye-bye. I've run out of money. Print some new ones, please. There we go. 6.5 billion pounds. That should do us. Now let's rip up London. The aim is very simple. We're going to lower the entire country into the sea. Hmm, I might need something a little bit more heavy duty than this. Ah, that's more like it. Down, please. Oh boy, this tool is powerful. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Greta was right, everyone. It is now the year 2050, and the whole country is underwater. Incidentally, the Lake District is very much more lakey than it used to be. Although I feel like I've just created an Assassin's Creed map. But all in all, isn't this gorgeous? London is completely wasted away. But I'm sorry, this looks epic. It is time to hook some places up. Hello, Brighton. Boop, you're disconnected from the outside world. Good luck with your life. All right, hello, Reading. Boom, you're no longer connected. Bye-bye. I've added in a few mods, so we've got a few extra boats. Let's see how big this one is. Bye, please. Hello, you're gonna run from Brighton to Reading. Oh no, the game is frozen. Ah, yes. Now this is the kind of route that I like. Or instead of going in a straight line from Brighton to Reading, which is only like an hour and a half by car. No, you shall go all the way around Dover, up through our friends in Norwich, through the crevice of death, navigate your way around the East Anglian cliffs, past Cambridge, through Oxford, into Reading Port, only to then arrive and have to walk all the way up here, get into town, and all the roadways are gone. Oh, the, the game's crashed. Oh, Greta made the game crash over and over and over and over again every single time I wanted to spawn in any ship. So, Greta, I've decided to flood more of the country. No more little cliffs. No more anything left. No, just pure water. How do your squirrels feel now? Hmm? Apart from that, I'm not angry at all. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Hooking up Bryson to Reading. There we go. Even Greta and her crashes can stop us now. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, my God. How slow can you go? I've got it at max speed as well. Is this really the fastest you go? Don't worry. The rear of your boat has just been spliced off by this giant door. Are you guys okay? It is now the 10th of June. 2074 and this boat has literally only just left Brighton. How are you so slow? We're going 35 kilometers an hour. Put the pedal to the metal, man. Don't worry, game. We've only lasted 20 minutes trying to think about how we're going to get from Brighton to London. This is fine. Well, I tried to put a harbor here in Oxford. The whole game has been frozen for about 45 minutes. Come out, come out, my pretties. At no miles an hour. With all the pensive guys up front merging into one another. That is most of the South connected. Oh my god, look at these hair dryers on wheels. Oh yeah, Greta's gonna be so amused by all these puffballs of smoke. Sorry, not sorry, Greta. Cry about it. With your squirrel stew. <coughs> Go on, my pretties. Go. Pump that delicious pure crude oil into our waters. Oh, what a gorgeous sight. Dude, you're about to be run over. Why are you going in that way? Sunday drivers. There seems to be a little bit of a queue here for the port of Bristol. Yep, this is how you can tell that you're in Britain, all right. Everybody's queuing up to enter the port. And with that being an obvious success, it's time to hook up the Midlands. <coughs> and that's the Midlands and the North connected. More boats, please. Come out, my pretties. It is time for you to fill up the Midlands with crude oil and pollution. Because yes, nothing screams saving the world by putting a bunch of boats on top of the bodies of drowned people of the Midlands. Is that dark? A little bit dark. Not as dark as the United Kingdom flooding, though, according to Greta. 
Spread, my pretties. Spread into each other and cause devastation. We're on a roll today, aren't we? I think I shouldn't have had that coffee this morning. Hmm, whatever. Oh, it's like the great migration of maritime vehicles. All I'm missing is David Attenborough. And here we see the ferry boat coming up sternly from behind to find its mate. It then rams it up from behind and comes to a gentle stop, as it's also rammed from the front by the pensive crew of the other one. Excuse me. Oh, it drifts here. Well done. Ten points to Gryffindor. They're still going. How long is this going to take? Okay, all boats are distributed. Now... We normally never do cargo, but because we have so much space left in our waters, I figured let's fulfill all these cities' demands of cargo. So please do just stand by whilst we add a cargo route to our schedule. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. There's a few of them. Oh no, <laughs> it's embedded in the floor. Whoops. <laughs> All right, everyone, please meet Dave, the deadly ass vehicle of excruciating pain and suffering. No, no, that's Dave Pass, but Dave sounds cooler. Go on, Dave. Oh, oh, no, it's like slimy. <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, that's strangely poetic and pretty. Yes, Dave. Oh, look, look at all the black smoke. Greta's going to be so pleased. Go on, Dave, find your way. Imagine sailing on the ocean and just seeing a wall of Dave come towards you. Dave, you're about to crash. Oh, good handbrake turn, Dave. Oh, no, it's like a living organism thing. How many Daves do you reckon we can spawn? Hello, I would like to buy more Daves, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> Spawn, Dave! Spawn! Oh no! Wait, it's still spawning! How many Daves did I spawn? Oh no! Oh! Turn, my pretties, turn! Yes, do this at your glorious two frames per second madness! Look at the back smoke! Breathe it, Greta! Breathe it! Oh, the game is breaking! What is going on? Oh, no. Turn, my pretties. I spin you right round. Oh, no. Dave is morphing. How many Daves are in this? <laughs> oh, what have I done? Why am I questioning what I have done? Shut up. I never question what I've done. This is Dave, and it's awesome. Come on, clone Dave. Join Big Dave. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, no. Dave, where are you going? Why are you eating the land, Dave? Oh no, poor Redding is being taken over. Imagine living here. Sorry, your house is just being taken out by Dave. Oh, there's a harbor underneath. Imagine casually waiting for your boat here, meanwhile being crushed to death by all the Daves in the world. No! Don't go towards it! Don't go towards the gap! You fool! Oh no, it's being eaten by Dave! No, Dave has fully consumed the small vessel. Dave, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my god. No. Oh my god, look at all the Daves arriving. Yes, Dave. <laughs> Imagine standing here. First of all, you're being crossed by Dave number two. Dave number... Is this one thousand? There's over a thousand Daves. Oh no. Oh man. And it's crashed. <laughs> We've broken the game! <laughs> oh, man! And on this fatal error, mess zero FPS bombshell of a collection of Dave, I thank you very much for watching. The next video will be in two weeks as I am moving house and settling into a new job, so please bear with. But as always, I appreciate your support. In two weeks, I run an unethical zoo. So subscribe, like, and comment. I will see you in two weeks' time. Thanks for watching. And ta -ra.